गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन हेलो गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन आई होप यू कैन योर माई वॉइस कैन आई हैव सम क्विक कॉमेंट्स प्लीज Am I audible clearly? So hello, good evening, everyone. Very good evening to all of you. I this is Vaishali Kamdar and our. Uh, topic today it is the self unit of the life the unit of life so this is our team this is our team of uh, live classes daily of youtube so we are doing live class we are daily doing live class on youtube uh, for the jm set and uh, neat so this is our complete team staff members all the staff members daily live classes in the session doubt clarification will be also done free materials in your in our app is there so for that you need to download the app that is spark academy app you just need to uh, focus on the logo so select that logo from your app store and download it and you will be getting free materials also and tips and tricks that i am going to discuss today and pyqs also we are going to solve today some of the pyqs are also included in this uh, video and admissions are open for 2020 uh, 2022 and 2023 so classroom as well and uh, as well as online coaching already like short term and regular batch batches are going on and crash course we are starting from 18th of april 18th of april we are starting crash course so join for the crash course for joining the crash course so you can download the app and uh, use this coupon code that is vi10 vi10 use this coupon code and you will be getting discount after that so just uh, download spark academy app and in that select this and uh, um, place this coupon code uh, enter this coupon code and you will be getting discount on whatever courses you will select so what are you all waiting for you will be getting great discount and join us right now this is the time to uh, buck up this is the time to do, work hard and uh, work precisely and uh, we need to work in a planned manner so for that you need some guidance and we are here to guide you so we are here to guide you all of you for the neat examinations so dates are declared already so you know, right now you can plan so um, i uh, you if you want to join if it is the time to join okay so just download the app and enter this coupon code vai and that's how you will be directly connected to me that is vaishali i am vaishali kamdar i'll be your biology teacher this is our schedule for youtube live classes on daily basis we are conducting live classes uh, two hours in the evening and one hour in the morning so 11 to 12 monday to friday so that is all uh, this is all about the uh, time table you can say or schedule or you have one more option that you can subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you will not miss out any of the live sessions and our today's topic it is about cell and cell cycle so it is from first year syllabus this is very short and sweet unit and uh, already uh, you are uh, you are aware of this things you uh, you know all this uh, basic structure of the cell and you know the basic cycle cell division and all these things still it will be giving six questions six questions so it is very important uh for exam point of view 
so it's very important for as exam point of view because it, it will be giving you uh, more question short and sweet unit and already non unit nothing new i mean little bit will be new only but that will be very i mean little depth and it will give you this one these many marks so this is about that you need the cell structure and function the cell the unit of the life it will give you around three to four questions by molecules two questions cell cycle and cell division two questions so you do you don't need to worry about these chapters today i'm going to discuss about the cell and then i'll be come up with biomolecules and cell cycle in uh, in short time okay so what is our session plan for today so first i'll introduce you guys all of you to the cell that is introduction part introduction to the cell what is cell what is structural unit what is functional unit okay overview of the cell what it contains it contains mainly cell membrane cytoplasm cell membrane nucleus and cytoplasm based on whether nucleus is present or not there are two types of mainly two types of the cell eukaryotic cell and prokaryotic cell then then how their size shape and activities will be different then about prokaryotic cell we will discuss in detail then about eukaryotic cell we will discuss again in detail so in eukaryotic when when we consider about the eukaryotic cell we need to think about organelles so we need to think about all this organelles present in the eukaryotic cell so first we will discuss about the membrane part also and then eukaryotic cell in that all the organelles so based on their function whether they are functioning together or they function separately there are two types of organelles or you can say either they can be part of endomembrane system or they are not part of the endomembrane system so we'll discuss endomembrane system and organelles which are not part of they are not considered in endomembrane system they are mitochondria chloroplast peroxisomes etc etc so all these things will be discussed here mitochondria chloroplast and peroxisomes etc then we will discuss about the cell wall in eukaryotic cell there is one more membrane present that is called cell wall not in all the eukaryotic cell in plant cell it is present in animal cell lacks the cell wall so which different organelles we are we are going to discuss here so in that ribosomes we will discuss ribosomes lysosomes this mitochondria and chloroplast is but obvious then cytoskeleton 
er endoplasmic reticulum in that rer and ser golgi apparatus and then cytoskeleton then centrosome in that cilia and flagella also centrosome etc so these this is our session plan all these things we are going to discuss then we will discuss about nucleus part also so what is there in nucleus you know in nucleus contains genetic material mainly so chromosomes types of chromosomes all these things we are going to discuss during this class so do not go anywhere and stay with me next 45 minutes so we will be discussing we'll be completing i'll give you complete overview or detail about this the cell and you need of the life so this thing the again this is the same overview of the chapter so types of cell prokaryote eukaryote and boundaries there are two types of boundaries cell wall cell membrane cytoplasm cell organelles and cell inclusions and the nucleus nuclear membrane nucleolus nucleoplasm chromatin network so then we are starting with we are starting with types of the cell see what should be a cell look like what is the overview of a cell and cell theory so history part so cell theory cell theory it has been proposed by c history in that first ever dead cell dead cell was observed by first ever dead cell was observed by robert hook robert hook then living cell living cell was observed by anthony van leeuwenhoek anthony van leeuwenhoek so these two scientists you need to remember and then cell theory was first i mean uh, german uh, german botanist in 9, in 1838 1838 skelden it is sheldon his name is sheldon matthias sheldon and the german botanist matthias sheldon and skevan he uh, he is botanist and he said that the cell is the you need the cell itself it is unique in plant cell so he said that plant cells are also made up of cell only then skevan also he was zoologist he observed in animal uh, animal uh, body and he concluded that the presence of cell wall is unique characteristics of plant 
and animals are also made up of in animals they are also made up of cells only but he concluded that cell wall is characteristic feature of not uh, it is not there in animal cell but this was something i mean something uh, not completed like that uh, sheldon and skevan together they were uh, they were not knowing from where the first ever cell come and from where the pre exit new cells arises from where then i uh, i in in 1855 in 1855 this 1855 1855 work out do doll work out do doll work out one second guys He explained that omnicellular a cellula. He said that that means every cells, every new cells are coming from. So all cells arises from pre-existing cells. so this is the history part of the uh, i mean history part of basic history that you should know about the cell so what is actually cell uh, what is actually the cell see uh, when you think about a building then when you think about a single brick that brick is uh, known as unit of the complete building then here uh, for example we i mean consider an, a huge animal or in a small animal as an as a building then the unit of these type of animal body or any organism it is the cell so to get cells together make tissue tissues together make or uh, tissue system then organ then organ system then organism so you all are aware about you all are aware about this pathway okay now overview of the cell wall a cell in that mainly there are two types of cells based on whether they have nucleus well defined nucleus or not so based on nucleus mainly if nucleus is well defined then it is known as true nucleus so whenever i mean true it is termed as uh, you uh, you so true nucleus those organisms which possess true nucleus they are called eukaryotic organism eukaryotes that means they have in eukaryotic cell they have this type of membrane bound nucleus in which chromosome or genetic material is lying inside so this is membrane bound nucleus nuclear membrane is there nuclear membrane is present in prokaryotic cell they have not well defined nucleus
so that's why they are called they have primitive type of primary nucleus or you can say genetic material it is without any boundary just floating inside the cytoplasm so they are known as primitive primitive or primary type it is also a uh, uh, prefix i mean it is uh, known as pro that's why we should write or we should give them a name that is prokaryote see name itself suggest pro that means primary carryon whenever word carryon is used it is related to nucleus carryon that means nucleus so primary type of nucleus is there then they are known as prokaryote this is basic difference there are so many more differences are there between eukaryotes and prokaryote but this is the basic difference you can consider it is there in their it is lying in their name itself u that means true or well defined and carry on that means nucleus those who are having well defined nucleus they are called eukaryote and those who don't do not have they have this genetic material without any bond boundary without any nuclear membrane then this type of organisms are called prokaryotes mostly prokaryotic organisms they are very simple they, they do not have that much complexity complexity of different organization or organelles okay so this prokaryotic organ organisms they lack i mean they do not have membrane bound they do not have membrane bound organelles remember do not have membrane bound organelles they carry is membrane less organelles and here lot of compartmentations are there lot of different organ organelles are present so eukaryotic cell has all these different type of membrane bound organelles then size and shape may varies with their functions and uh, it may varies with their functions how they are performing how what is their function accordingly their size and shape may varies Size may be disc-like, polygonal, columnar, cuboidal, thread-like, even irregular. That is known as amoeboid shape. This much clear, guys? I hope this much clear. I hope this much is clear. Now we are discussing prokaryotic cell in detail. so prokaryotic cell they are represented by the representing organism they are bacteria bacteria so uh, they are represented by bacteria blue green algae actually its name is blue green algae but they are also known as cyanobacteria they are they comes under prokaryote not under eukaryote then pleo pneumonia like organism mycoplasmas so all these are examples of prokaryotic cell mycoplasmas they are smaller cell but they are cell without cell wall so they are without cell wall okay bacteria shape of bacteria can be of four types shape of bacteria can be of four types rod shape it coca shape it spiral or vibrio shape it and spiral shape it so rod that means like this it is not a rod it is rod 
so it is also known as bacillus state i mean uh, bacillus species uh, mostly they have this type of rod shaped bacteria coccus that means spherical shape like this it can be diplococci also that means two two ka groups together okay they can arrange themselves into two two so diplococcus pneumoniae vibrio that means comma shaped and spiral shaped like you can see in any advertisement of toothpaste so these are spirochetes they are spirillium they are spiral shaped so these are shapes of bacteria or prokaryotic cell uh, they exhibit wide variety of shapes and function but most of their organization is very simple then prokaryotes have a cell wall surrounding the cell membrane they have cell wall see if i want to draw complete bacterial a proper bacterial cell then it should it is it should be like this this is cell wall then in our side there is one more membrane that is called cell membrane okay this membrane is sometimes invigilated invagent to form mesosome nuclear material it is like floating sometimes extra chromosomal dna is also present that is called plasmid ribosomes are there and cytoplasm plasm are also there so ribosomes are membrane less these are cytoplasm sometimes they have uh, external structure like pili or over the in their cell wall or sometimes they have flagella also so flagella can be one it can be many also accordingly there are different there are different types of uh, i mean their arrangement it can be monotrichous it can be peritrichous it can be lophotrichous that means flagella can be one at one side only this is called monotrichous flagella can be on both the sides one one so this is called amphitrichous it can be like this a cluster at one end then or class uh, that is known as lophotrichous and flagella can be of peritrichous also like this all over the body all over the cell wall this is called all over the periphery peritrichous so these are different arrangement of flagella flagella that means which is giving motility to the particular bacteria so this will provide motility motility that means movement so this movement is provided by uh, uh, flagella and pili is not responsible for pili or fimbri it is not not responsible for motility it is for adherence and some special features uh, also so they are structures of so pili and fimbri also sub, uh, surface structures do not play they do not play any role in motility this pili is not playing any role in motility it is for adherence like thing or etc okay base uh, now we are talking about the cell envelope of prokaryotic cell cell envelope of prokaryote c see for example this is bacterial cell and in bacterial cell in that the cell wall is there cytoplasmic is there and from the outer side it is covered by certain more some more one more envelope that is called capsule so cell envelope includes 
Envelope of the cell includes three layers. Three layers. It includes three layers. Outermost layer. Outermost layer. Outermost layer is known as glycocalyx layer. Glycocalyx layer. This glycocalyx differs in the composition and thickness also. So, uh, uh, this thickness on the basis of thickness, it is divided into two types. If it is thin layer, loose sheet. Thin and loose sheet like it is called slime. Slime layer. And if it is thick, if it is thick and tough. Then it is called capsule. See capsule, just you can see a cell, around the cell there is one glycocalyx layer made up of more, mainly polysaccharides. So you can visualize cell and cell capsule is always, when you stay in the cell, you can only observe the cell wall. You, uh, uh, in the outer surroundings, this capsule remains unstained. So, when you see a structure in microscope, you can observe them like this. This is cell, rod shaped cell, around that capsule is there. Okay, then plasma membrane, second layer, oh, sorry, second layer is cell wall. So, on the basis of different composition of cell wall, on the basis of different composition of cell wall, there are two types of bacteria. Gram positive Gram positive and Gram negative bacteria. Gram positive and Gram negative bacteria. See how you can Get idea which is gram positive and which is gram negative. This gram is not kilogram or milligram or microgram, anything like that. It is on the name of Christian Gram who has discovered the staining technique. So according to the staining technique, they have, I mean, gram has uh, the, I mean, those who are uh, organisms which can take up the stain of gram stain, which can retain the stain. Retain the stain of gram stain, which can retain the gram stain, they are said to be gram positive. Here they are decolorized and they do not retain the gram stain. Retain the color of gram stain. They are called gram negative organism. Now I'll explain you how this gram staining procedure is performed. See, what you should do. You have a culture of bacteria, then over the slide you are, I mean, uh, over the slide you just need to streak, streak it, your culture. This is your area. Here you have uh, streak it with the, I mean, your uh, smear, you have made a smear. This is your smear. Then heat fix it. Heat fix it. After that, Primary stain is applied. 
that is gram stain that is crystal violet or gentian violet it is violet in color which is also known as gram stain sorry q should be capital here okay followed by decolorization process by alcohol using alcohol so here what happens in the cell, in the cell wall if it contains more lipid okay if organisms those who have more lipid they will be this lipid will be lipids will be soluble in alcohol so pores will be created so they will be decolorized in the colorization step okay then those who have no more i mean less lipids in their cell wall we are not talking about the plasma membrane we are talking about the cell wall so they will be they will retain the stain retain the primary stain that is purple or violet so this decolorized cell when you treat it with the secondary stain so they will be color they will be getting or they will be uh, colored you by this they'll uh, absorb this color and they'll be stained by the secondary stain so secondary stain we are using safranine so it will stain it pink or red in color so after that you will be having this type of you can say this is your smear okay when you observe under microscope then you will get two types of stay, uh, color here one is this purple in color and the other they will be stain red in color red or pink in color so though i mean uh, organisms which are stained pink in color that means they have taken up the color of the secondary stain stain and they have uh, they are decolorized during decolorization process so they are known as gram they are called gram negative gram negative organisms those who are purple in color those which Uh, uh, cells which are stained purple in color that means they retain the color of the primary stain that is gram stain so they are known as gram positive gram positive organism i hope this much this technique is clear so it is on the basis if the question is asked that uh, this gram positive and gram negative uh, differentiation between the bacteria it is on the basis of which structural differentiations or anything difference in their composition yes so composition difference in their cell wall so it is on the basis of their cell wall composition because lipid is high that will get i mean because of that during decolorization process in the cell wall pores will be generated so it can not retain the stain of the primary stain and it gets re decolorized cell will get decolorized during this process so the and it will take up the stain take up the color of the secondary stain this is how it will be stained by secondary stain and it is known as gram negative gram negative organism okay now one more point one more point about prokaryotic cell that we have drawn it here i have drawn it here that is mesosome okay this is mesosome which is membrane in vegetation membrane is extension extension so function of mesosomes can be different 
okay functions of uh, it, it can uh, the, it help in the cell wall formation dna replication distribution to the daughter cell and it also functions and respiration secretion as well as i mean so respiration that means the eukaryotic cell whatever function performed by mitochondria same type of function in prokaryotic cell is performed by which cell you tell me i'm waiting for your answer so it is for in prokaryotic cell function of functions just like mitochondria is performed by which cell uh, which organelle or which type of um, you can say which membranous system or anything like that yes bhavana good evening correct so it is this function is performed by mesosome in case of prokaryotes okay in prokaryotes they have mesosome which functions like mitochondria in some prokaryotes like cyanobacteria there are other membranous extension also so which will perform just function same like plastids in case of eukaryotes just like a plant cell these are known as chromatophores which contains pigment so in bacteria same like chloroplast they have same like chloroplast they have chromatophores so chromatophores is equal to chloroplast of eukaryotes correct so i think everything is clear about proka prokaryotic cell cell envelope gram staining procedure uh, membrane invagination flagella pili fimbri everything should be clear about prokaryotic cell they do not have they do not have uh, nuclear membrane can you see here any nuclear membrane is there no so they do not have this nuclear membrane this membrane is not there they have just cytoplasm and in cytoplasm their genetic material is floating so gene genomic dna the single chromosome they have single chromosome or circular dna sometimes they carry plasmid also plasmid also sometimes they have this extra chromosomal Yes, Bhavana. There is difference between mesosome and chromatophore. Chromatophore, chromatophores are present only in case of cyanobacteria or any uh, any uh, photosynthetic prokaryotes. Okay, they have chromatophores. No, all organisms, all other bacteria, they do not have chromatophores. Chromatophores contains pigment. So this is other membrane extension. Mesosome is a different membrane in vegetation. It is different, and chromatophore is different. Both are mem membrane in vegetation or or only membrane extensions only. But one carries a pigment. Pigment for what? Pigment to carry out photosynthesis. Okay. Now. See, I have told you that prokaryotic cell also has membrane-less organelles. We have written that it do not carries. So it do not have membrane-bound organelles. That means membrane-less organelles it can carry. So we have one membrane organelle without membrane that is called ribosome. So we'll start with that. First, it is ribosome. So ribosomes and inclusion bodies. So these are in prokaryotes. They have also ribosomes and eukaryotes also ribosome. They also have ribosomes, but both the ribosomes in size they will be different. Prokaryotes mostly. So there are two types of ri ribosomes: 70s ribosomes and 80s ribosomes. The 70s ribosomes are present in prokaryotic cell. 
prokaryotic cell in cytoplasm okay as well as 70s ribosomes are also present in er and uh, sorry not uh, not in er just present in mitochondria and chloroplast mitochondria and chloroplast of eukaryotic cell so do not get confused when it is asked do not get confused when it is asked what is the site of 70s ribosomes 70s ribosomes also present in prokaryote as well as in eukaryote in this special organelles that is mitochondria and mitochondria and chloroplast and ats ribosome site of ats ribosome in cytoplasm in cytoplasm and over the er in eukaryotic cell okay what is the function of this ribosomes ribosomes function in protein synthesis the function is protein synthesis function is protein synthesis so see sometimes uh, during protein synthesis um, uh, protein synthesis during translation this mrna it should be like this this is the ribosome then mrna is attached to the ribosome like this but sometimes one mrna this is one mrna only okay it is attached to more than one ribosomes like this then this type of arrangement it is known as polysome more than one ribosomes attached to the single mrna it is known as polysome they'll translate together they will translate only one mrna okay then next it is about inclusion bodies inclusion bodies so the reserve material in prokaryotes are stored in cytoplasm in form of inclusion bodies see if we are talking about prokaryotes in prokaryotes for storage of reserve materi material so they have inclusion bodies they can store in form of inclusion body bodies they are not bounded by any membrane they are free lying in the cytoplasm just like uh, um, uh, granules just like granules of certain um, you can say certain things so phosphate granules uh, cyanophycin granules or glycogen granules like this gas vacuoles are found in blue green and purple green photosynthetic bacteria so gas vacuoles are only found in blue green and purple green purple and green photosynthetic bacteria so this is about prokaryotic cell now we need to start eukaryotic cell so we have discussed the uh, eukaryotic cell now we need to start eukaryotic cell so i think we will do eukaryotic cell in next class so i'll this uh this uh, i will keep this point the cell in continuation so we'll discuss it in detail eukaryotic cell and discuss that in detail okay all the cell membrane fluid mosaic model and everything about eukaryotic cell so right now just solve few questions before that download our app so for great discounts on all our courses right now 
so after that you will get all this uh, free handwritten material study materials and mock test so you uh, description yes bhavna i am i am i am sharing in short time so wait a second so link is given in description box so uh, you can go through the description box and join to the any of the course using one code that is vai using one code that is vai 10 so admissions are open right now that we are open for classroom coaching and crash course is coming soon it will be on 18th of mostly on 18th april we are starting a new batch so short term regular all these things are going on at both the branches narayanpura as well as mehdi patnam online coaching is also going on and what you should do here online coaching is also going on and you should do you should apply here one code that is vai10 and you will be directly connected to me after that you will be directly connected to me after that so on daily basis we are having this live sessions and we are conducting assignment we are giving assignments conducting tests so this is a methodology so now you can have first question with you see in front of you yes bhavna and those else i mean those all or else those who have joined if you write your answer in uh, chat section then only i can see your name and i can call out your name so first question it is the golgi complex complex plays a major role in what golgi complex plays a major role role in what in digestion of protein and carbohydrates as energy transferring organelles in post translational modification of proteins and glycosylation of lipids in trapping the light and transforming it into chemical energy yes i'm waiting for your answer Yes guys if you are there i'm waiting for your answer come on digesting proteins and carbohydrates no bhavna that's strong golgi apparatus may plays major role in post translational modification digestion is done by lysozyme which is there in lysosome not in golgi apparatus okay so it performs mostly in glycosylation this glycolipids or i mean all this over the lipids this glycosylation carbohydrate attachment is done in case of golgi apparatus yes so it is 1c correct now second question the major site for the synthesis of lipid ser simplast nucleoplasm or rer Okay, Bhavna, no problem. No problem. Now you can give correct answer. Major site for the synthesis of lipid. It is S E R. S E R is major site of synthesis of lipid. Then third question: the term glycocalyx is used for what? we have discussed this in uh, during the class the layer surrounding the cell wall of the bacteria the layer present between cell wall and membrane cell wall of the bacteria bacteria cell glyco engineered to possess n glycosylated protein so which of these is correct correct a layer surrounding the cell wall of the bacteria we have discussed envelope part Okay, then which of the following type of the plastids does not contain stored food material? Which cannot contain stored food material? Amyloplast. It is for storage of starch. 
amyloplast for storage of starch so you can select from other three chromoplast ileoplast alluroplast ileoplast is for storage of lipids alluroplast for protein so chromoplast they are not for storage they are for photosynthesis and for giving color they have pigments in them so why is the capsule is advantageous for the bacterium what is the role of capsule why it is advantageous to the bacterium it allows the bacteria to attach no it is sticky it will not allow to attach it will it will be i mean it allows the bacterium to hide from the host immune system will when uh, when phagocytosis occurs engulfment occurs in immune through immune system during this engulfment process this capsulated bacteria can get escape they can escape from the immune system so yes they can escape from the immune system so capsule is a layer so d is correct bhavna for fifth one d is correct the nuclear envelope is derivative of nuclear envelope is derivative of the uh, sorry nuclear envelope is derivative of membrane of like golgi complex yes bhavna you have answered for fifth question or not now answer for the sixth nuclear envelope is derivative of it is derived derivative that means it is derived from what membrane of golgi complex microtubules rer or ser so membrane it is derived from what yes no membrane it is derivative of rough endoplasmic reticulum rer so here so it is derivative of rer then which structure performs the function of mitochondria in bacteria see i have told you i have explained you during the class just like mitochondria in bacteria so my what is the function of mitochondria respiration the same function is performed by correct correct you are right bhavna the solid linear cytoskeleton elements having a diameter of 6 and a nanometer made up of single type of monomer are known as these monomers are known as they are called microtubules they are called sorry they are called microfilaments so microtubules microfilaments and intermediate microfilaments along with the er form the cytoskeleton so microfilaments are non living and solid and consist of actin fiber so this 4 to 6 nanometer they are microfilaments correct answer is this then osmotic expansion of cell kept in water is chiefly regulated by mitochondria vacuoles plastids or ribosomes so regulation osmotic regulation is done by with the help of vacuoles then dna is not present in which of these things dna is not present uh, it is not present in, in nucleus it is there mitochondria it will be there chloroplast also contain its own dna in ribosome it do not contain dna so 
So then I I'll again remind you all of you. Then you can join us on Telegram also. And this is your this is your uh, homework question, guys. DIY questions. Take a screenshot, and I'll be waiting for your answer in comment section. Quickly, quick, take a screenshot. Uh, screenshot. Take a screenshot, and I'll be waiting for the answer in comment section. Yes, have you taken the screenshot? Yes, now take a screenshot for the second question also. Third, which one of these is not a eukaryote? Not a eukaryote, so you need to select the prokaryote one. Again, I am reminding you all of you, subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon so you will not miss any not notifications. And if you like the video, if you like my explanation, then don't forget to press the like icon. That is from, uh, this is your biology teacher, Vaishali, Vaishali Kamda. That's me. And these are our results of Spark Academy of last year. That is 2021. Neat results. And thank you so much. If you like the video, if you like, if you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Don't forget to like, share and comment below. I will be waiting for your comments for the questions, DIY questions. Thank you so much.